We brought together these six groups. Four of them, they're all to do with the gastrointestinal tract. The other two, kidney is pretty important. Transplantation is a big topic now. And then endocrine and metabolic, and which affects every part of your body. For the groups who are a little more um, geographically isolated perhaps, this has been a successful approach to be able to support them and to communicate better and provide them with some really useful tools to, to do their work. For prioritisation, we've started to think about diabetes and obesity, which is of course a major health issue at the minute. Um, so we've started off by looking at what reviews and protocols we have in that area. You can find um, you know, somewhere around 150 reviews on obesity and diabetes mm -hmm. on the library and across a lot of different groups and so we're going to be having a look at that and make sure that there's a certain harmony in them. Our next job will be to do some gap analysis to see where the gaps are, prioritising and, and making sure that the, the reviews that are most needed are the ones that we're doing. One of the projects that our network support fellow has been working on and I've helped support her with that is um, a protocol audit of um, the 10 most recently published protocols uh, from each of the review groups um, in our network. The protocols, you know, that's the building block for the review. So if you haven't got the building blocks right, you're going to have a bit of a problem when you come to doing the review. So we've looked at those 10. The um, review groups have found that feedback really helpful in terms of what they need to do to make their reviews to improve the protocols and obviously the better the protocol and the better the review. There's much more communication going back and forward, much more support for the, for the um, managing editors and the coordinating editors, because they're really very important people within mm -hmm. the collaboration. For the future, I'm looking to see that the work of the groups will be much more focused around producing evidence that people want that patients want and the guideline developers want.